One of the things that we're trying to do at Weber State is not only build a more environmentally friendly, energy conscious campus, but to use that as a living laboratory so our students who are going through the engineering programs or, or our environmental programs can see this advanced technology actually working before they go out to the job field and hopefully deploy those kind of systems wherever they end up. One of the big components of our environmental goals is electrification. We're getting rid of direct combustion of natural gas on campus. Mitsubishi Electric allows us to do that in an efficient way that saves us money on our electricity bills. And then we reinvest that money into things like solar, which allows us to source that electricity renewably. Historically, our campus was cooled with chilled water from a central chilled water plant and heated with steam from a central steam plant. Those aren't the best from an efficiency perspective. As we went through an iterative process of how we wanted to heat and cool our buildings to align with our environmental goals, we started installing water source VRF about 10 years ago, which means our condensers aren't subject to outside air temperatures. All they really care about is the water temperature that's coming in through the pipe. We've retrofit about half of our campus to be fully electric and be part of this energy sharing network. I came from the contracting world when variable refrigerant flow was introduced to the market. We saw it as a way to really compete with the larger systems where typically there wasn't a solution beyond boiler chiller. And variable refrigerant flow opened up an avenue because of its modular ability, its heat recovery, its energy efficiency, its low cost, its reduction in building square footage, vertical height separation, weight. There's several reasons that Weber State has standardized on Mitsubishi Electric. One, we like the product and the functionality. En energy recovery is a big deal for us. We think the thermostats are easy to use. The control systems are intuitive and easy to use as well. We also have very good local support through our supplier and another appealing aspect has been the warranty. The Norda Engineering Building has a traditional VRF system. It was chosen because of its energy efficiency and our electrification goals. Our Norda Engineering Building houses our electrical engineering, our mechanical engineering, and our energy engineering programs. The building was designed for all of those components to be labeled and exposed so that as students are learning about the theory of mechanical or electrical systems, we can use the building to demonstrate those systems on site. We were at the AHR Expo in Las Vegas and we stopped at the Mitsubishi Electric booth and there was this big branch controller that we didn't recognize. <laughs> and our supplier APS was there as well. And so we asked the rep about it and they said, oh, this is this idea of hybrid VRF. And they explained what it meant to us, uh, how instead of using refrigerant to distribute energy through the building, you're using water. We chose hybrid VRF for the Sky Suites because it was the first project we could actually execute. The Sky Suites was an addition to our football stadium that was completed in the late 90s and it is a six-story building that overlooks Weber County in the valley. It houses the press box, the box seats for the football games. It has a lot of athletic offices. It has some locker rooms. It's really for the football stadium and everything that supports the football game. One thing that I've been really impressed with the Mitsubishi electric hybrid system is that it uses less refrigerant than a more traditional system. That is really important to us, and especially with the change in refrigerant requirements going to the A2Ls with the R32, it gives us more flexibility in designing the systems. One of the big advantages of hybrid VRF or VRF in general is the idea that you can create temperature zones that have very tight control and are controlled locally. So we actually give all of our occupants their own thermostats and give them full control of what temperature they want their space to be. In fact, at our homecoming football game, I stopped in our president's suite 
because historically this building, the Sky Suites, has been hard to manage from a temperature perspective. And I asked him, President Mortensen, how's the temperature been? And he said, it's been great. It's normally hot in here and it's been absolutely comfortable. When you're designing a VRF system, whether it's hybrid or traditional VRF, it's always important to take into consideration how you're gonna maintain the building years down the road. And one thing that Weber State University has done that I really appreciate is they love to use four-way ceiling cassettes. That puts the air filter right at the ceiling level. And as part of every job that we do, we give them a complete set of filters for every indoor unit. Therefore, when they, when they do their maintenance, they take out the filter, they slap a new one in, they take all the dirty ones back, they wash them, put them away for the next time. Very simple. Installing the Mitsubishi Electric Hybrid VRF system cuts down on time in comparison to a ducted system. I mean, you're talking the old duct in this building is massive and it would take months to install where we were able to install this entire project in eight months and redo 200 heads in the system and then put in a new system that way. I do think that these solutions are perfect for retrofits because the space that you need to utilize is a lot less, so they're a lot more forgiving. When you're dealing with a building that's got a real tight ceiling space, these Mitsubishi electric heads are very, very easy to get piping to compared to running duct systems down a shaft throughout the whole floor. It's very cost-effective to go ahead and do this route and it's a lot faster. Weber State University has in their specifications to only use the Mitsubishi Electric Smart ME controller. And the reason they want that controller is because it has a light level sensor and an occupancy sensor on it. With Weber State's emphasis on energy usage, they like to set their thermostats up or their remote controllers to use those occupancy sensors so they can save money on their energy. So anytime we do any project at Weber State University, we always supply the Mitsubishi electric controller because of those energy savings features that are built into it. Mitsubishi electric hybrid VRF consumes a lot less energy than our traditional systems. Whenever we do a retrofit, I run some energy numbers on what we consumed before and what we consume now. Mitsubishi electric systems allow us to decrease our energy footprint by about 70 or 80%. I do recommend other campuses utilize Mitsubishi Electric Hybrid VRF. For us, it's really a question of the environmental impact, the reduced energy use, as well as life cycle cost. From a life cycle cost perspective, we found it to be quite competitive. Hybrid VRF is now our standard. So we actually have three projects in design right now that will also be hybrid VRF. And our plan, unless something drastic changes, is to convert the rest of the campus to hybrid. One of the things that APS looks for, as we represent many different HVAC products, is a great partnership. Mitsubishi Electric is a great partner. We view them as a high quality product and a great partnership. Great people, great organization. We value our relationship.